so my partner um i think i found out the reason i am having gun jams uh well let me ask you if you've how many of you don't read the manual huh. uh i would recommend reading every word of it okay and not just once i mean refer to it over and over um, according to the manual, it could be um, excessive oil. Okay, it could be it could be excessive grease. It may not. It could be a cleaning problem. Uh, but the biggest problem, the biggest problem is uh, the magazine, whether it's deformed or uh, the spring doesn't have enough. Uh, I guess spring in it. Uh, mine seems to be fine. Uh, there's no malfunction. There's no deformities or um, anything like that. So I was trying to figure out, well, why am I having the gun jams? Um, it happens uh, every other time I shoot this, one or two gun jams occur. Um, okay, according to this, according to the manual, okay, it says use... Only fresh factory ammunition, such as Winchester or Federal. I mean, I love the brand that I use, which is uh, Blazer Brass ammunition. Uh, this is a centerfire cartridge. Um, I've always used that kind. And although you can't tell anything, just with the naked eye, you can't tell you know any difference between any other bullet or brand it says use federal or winchester uh... so that's the only uh... thing that i could think of uh... so the next time um, i'm gonna go ahead and shoot the rest of these off and then when i and i'm gonna pick up some federal and uh... see if i still have gun jams or not so I mean, one one gun jam is not not that big of a deal, but when you've had them over and over, like like me, it starts pissing you off because uh, it just it just looks it just looks stupid when you're out there and you have a jam, and then and then you know mine jammed up in here, and I had a real bitch of a time trying to get it out. So anyway, uh, if you have the 1911. Springfield Armory, the one just like this. Uh, you know, check your manual. It's probably uh, it's probably the same thing. It's going to tell you switch um, from something else to Federal, and you know Federal is cheaper anyway. Uh, and I didn't make this video for um, you know it all's out there or anything like that. I didn't make it for people that know this. I just this is just to throw the tip out there. It could be. You know, on gun jamming, you know, go to your go to your manual, and uh, you know, try to try to figure it out, because that gun jamming, that gun jamming can eventually cause some kind of serious injury with you or a bystander. You know, the ammunition when it comes out, it can explode or something. And um, the manual says um, that some pe that it can cause serious serious damage. So. I'm thinking it could explode in your face or something, so I don't know. But uh, when mine jammed up in there, it was already, uh, it was just a, it was just the shell, the casing. So I didn't have to worry about that in most cases, but uh, one time it jammed in there really bad. I couldn't, I, I thought I was going to have to take it to a gunsmith, but uh, I was able to get it out. So anyway, that's all for now.